Hey guys, how we doing today? Today I am coming to you to decorate my 3D face mask. For those of you out there, I have a tutorial on how to make this 3D face mask. After you sew it up and put it all together, it kind of looks just like this. This one right here is for a kid's. And um, I was doing templates to find out what size is the best for a six-year-old. So that's it right there. So anyway, today I have my 3D face mask template already sewed up. Got the stitching all together. And before I end up sewing up the rest to put it all together, I wanted to decorate it. So I have this mosaic vinyl and this is from Cricut and it's all different colors. And I was actually thinking about, you could do red, gold, silver, turquoise. This is even pretty. I could I could see that on, on the face mask. But anyway, I am going to use the bling bling one, the iridescent one, and I'm going to make my face mask look like bling on it. So let's get started. Okay, so with this being said, I'm going to move this out the way. And I am going to cut the template out for the size of my face mask. And I'm just going to roughly take it and I'm just going to roughly cut it really quick. Okay, so I went and I cut out my image and here it goes. So I'm going to put this on top of that and I'm going to iron this on. And it's supposed to make it look like it has bling bling on it. And it's going to be iridescent. So let me get my heat press. Let, let me get it heated up and... I'll be back. So let's go to my heat press. Okay, so now we are at my heat press. And I have my fabric that I'm going to do this beautiful vinyl on and this is mosaic and this is from cricut.com but i'm pretty sure you could go and find this design on any website that has so uh, heat transfer vinyl okay guys so now i have my heat press at 315 degrees and i'm gonna press this for 30 seconds So now I'm just gonna press this down. And before I lay my vinyl on, I'm just gonna take the moisture out of my mass material. There that goes. Now I'm going to take my sample and I'm going to line it up, making sure which side I had cut it out from. And that looks pretty good right there. And before I iron this down, I want to use a butcher paper. This is just going to protect my surface from any vinyl if it does not stick onto the material. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna press this for 30 seconds. I have my heat press already on. So here we go. Okay, so it's all done. Okay, and now that I got that, just want you to see Press it for 15 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to take you guys back to my table and we're going to do a warm peel. Okay, so now I'm back at my table and I'm just going to remove this to the side. Don't ever throw none of these pieces out that are small because you can always use them for accents. Okay, so here we go. So with that being said, I'm going to peel this off. And I am already loving this. Wow. Just peel it off really slow. I see some spaces are empty, but that's all right. Because to me, it reminds me of a design of this dress that I had back in the 90s. And I love that dress so much. And it looked it similar to this where it had spots that didn't have none of the vinyl on it. So there that goes. So now I'm just going to go and I'm going to bring my sewing machine in and I'm going to sew this up. And I'm going to turn this into a face mask. I will leave a link in the description box below on the 3D face mask tutorial. And this is what it's gonna look like. Now you wanna go and flip the sides up. And all you wanna do is just crease the ear loops. Okay, so here we go. I did the edging, one eighth of an inch. I folded the ear loops down. I sewed the, the edges down, okay, leaving some edges so you can make a uh, elastic piece in there, okay? And now I'm going to take this, open it up, and fold it right in half creasing it and then now okay I decided to take out my Teflon sheet so then I can iron this down the way I want now you want to make sure everything is all pressed out and now I'm going to use the heat. Okay, so now... Now I'm going to sew up the sides. So with your pin, pins or wonder clips, you want to take the edge of this and bring it down to this base and make sure everything lines up just fine and it folds even. 
Now I'm gonna take it to my sh machine and I'm gonna tack these down with a little two, three stitch, straight stitch, okay? Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I gave a couple of stitches. right there like i said two to three stitches just to hold the the tab in up in place and now i'm gonna run some elastic i have some black soft knit elastic oh my god this is so soft guys and i cut this out at seven inches and now I'm going to use my going to use my loop turner and I'm just going to run this elastic through and I'm going to do the same to the other side and I'm just going to pull it through and now I'm going to tie this up in a small little knot and then I'm going to run the raw edges through the inside of the channel of the ear loops that I made okay and I'm going to try to tighten it as close to the edge as possible and that looks good so now I'm just going to run the raw edge through the side and you can't even tell or see it and I'm going to do the same for the other side so there that goes now let's see what it looks like okay guys see how cool that looks oh i love it already guys Doop. remember the dress i was telling you about that kind of favors this a little bit and as you can see there's a lot that's missing also I just wanted to show you guys. Thank you. Bye now. Okay, guys. So, this is what my blinged out 3D mask looks like. I really hope you like how it came out. Uh, design your hearts out, guys. There's so many different ways how you can simplify your mask to be your own. You can think outside of the box. Do something different. Put something on there that says, hug the world. You know, I mean, whatever. You know, whatever your heart desires, just do it and be happy about it. Okay, guys? So this is what my mask, and I am in love with this. So this is what my mask looks like. I... So love it. Even with the little spots missing, because you know, um, not to say anything bad, but Cricut products is really not that great. So, and I found that out after I spent a lot of money. So that's why it's always good to do research on things and materials and try not to get ripped off on elastic as I had. So it kind of really sucks. So this is the other way around. So you can use it whichever way fits comfortable for you. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. Press the subscribe button. Press the notification bell. So when you I post a video up, you guys will get a notification link. This is definitely a great idea, guys. You guys stay safe now. Bye.